can't go, and I liken that to a fixed agenda. And I don't want that with God because I want what He wants for me, me, oh me, and Him, oh yes. I love the scripture. I have been crucified with Messiah. I no longer live, but He now lives in me. And the life that I live now, it belongs to Him. That's a paraphrase. Yes, but the life I now live is faith in the Son of God. Hallelujah. So, be encouraged. Cha, 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 cha. God has us. Uh -huh. He has us. Uh -huh. In His hands, we're closer to Him than our very breath. He collects our tears in a battle because they're precious to Him. Yes, yeah, so, everything juxtaposed, we die to the fear of man so that when He speaks, I can go forward. Two innate gifts. The voice and the body in motion, affirming our personhood, powerful instruments of praise, and powerful weapons of warfare. There's a man outside hanging from what looks to be a balloon. It's doing, they're doing construction of scaffolding. He doesn't expect to see me as much as I don't expect to see him. Very funny. Always be ready. Always be ready. Always be ready for the Lord has for us. What does he have? 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 What does he have for you and me? That's the question. Oh, the day, day. Oh, the day, day. Oh, the day, 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 Oh, ah, yeah. Oh, oh, oh. In the name of, 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 ooh, in the name, ooh, name, name. The names of God, oh goodness. You want to get to know God, get to know his names. Ooh, I don't have my air on today, so we're going to schwitz, which is really wonderful for your muscles and your joints. Say the safest one, you're hot and schwitzy. Hot and schwitzy. Baby, baby doesn't care. The baby, the baby doesn't care. The babe doesn't care what you think. And that's how we die, to the fear of man. We say, God, I want you. I want all of you. I don't need this. And in the human nature, that's what we need. But then we get saved, and we get to know the love of God through Messiah Yeshua. Go, and we eat his word, and we get fed, fed. Oh, yeah, so one of my favorite, whoo, favorite, favorite scriptures is James 4, 7. Submit to God, then resist the devil. Pa, and he pa, will flee from you. Oh yes, oh yes, 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 oh yes. Oh yes, oh yes, he will. He will, but you have to believe it. You have to believe that he will. And anything you pray, you need to release faith over. Otherwise, there's no point in Tom and Hebrew. If you're praying without faith, you're wasting your tickety tockety tick tock, tick tock, tick tock. Time. You must release faith over everything, over everything you do, 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 Emotion inspiring sound, sound inspiring emotion. Whoop. So out of the rest comes the inspiration. And the gasoline is the breath. When I'm working with my dancers and we're going out to minister somewhere, I say, you have to breathe, right? You have to exhale. Oh yeah. Praise the Lord. Don't be afraid to speak. Don't be afraid of your voice. Yes, we've been given permission in every nation to sing. But what about the spoken word? What about sound? Lifting up from your kishkas, right? I love the scripture in Matthew. He says, anyone who believes rivers of living water will well up to eternal life. The Holy Spirit. Will you allow the Holy Spirit wash over you like a fountain this day to inspire you and encourage you? And we've got to die to trying to do things in our own strength. That's useless. It's useless. I referred the other day when I was 35 years old. I was a believer, but I was burnt out. Flat out on my back. 
tired of doing it in my own strength. And the only strength is the Holy Spirit's strength that empowers you. It lifts the load. Let Holy Spirit, let Holy Spirit, ooh, lift your love. Let Holy Spirit lift your load up. Lift your load up. Let Holy Spirit lift up, lift up, lift up. Lift your load. Give your load. Throw your worries onto God and Yeshua's name. Oh yeah, so we're going to, going to, going to, 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 to the house of the Lord. We're going to, to, we're going to, to, we're going to the house of the Lord. Hey, hey, hey. oh, oh, oh. Ah, ha, ha, Powerful. Do -do 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 -do. If you don't have a shofar. Very powerful if you're feeling oppressed, you press, suppress. Yeah, I want to talk about the trauma that's commanded out. When you lift your voice up, which means you're not in fear of your neighbor, that's your freedom. And I've literally seen shackles falling off of people because they said, I want to be free more than I care, cha-cha, about what my neighbor thinks about me. Oh, me. Oh, me. Oh, me. me. Oh, me and him. Him and me. Abiding. I'm stepping into Yeshua. I'm stepping in. I'm stepping into Yeshua. Yes, Yeshua lives in the center of my dance floor. He showed me that's where he is. So I step, boop, I step into him today. I step into him. You know, there's something really powerful about stepping into him, imagining that you're within him. This is what God wants. He wants us to live out of him. He wants us to abide. And he talks about that in the Gospel of John, Yohanan. And I believe it's chapters 14, 15, 16, and 17. We'd be very um, inspired, moved to reread Pooh, those chapters again, again, to get inspired and to learn that we should be living ha out of ha. Oh, 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 oh. His heart, heart. His heart, heart. Oh, his heart, heart. Oh, his heart, 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 heart. Out of his heart. Yes, so. We're going to listen. We're going to listen. What does God want to say? Hey, hey. When you move out and allow Holy Spirit to move through you, you know you can sing in the Spirit. Well, you can dance in the Spirit. You pray through your dance. Dance in faith. You release your prayer-filled prayers, faithful prayers, through the dance. If you can do it through the song, why wouldn't you do it? Whoop, whoop. Hey, hey, hey. Through the dance. Be a child. Right? The child always gets the breakthrough. And people who study with me, whether it was once or many times, they know that that is the key, key, key. The child gets the breakthrough, if you don't remember anything else. The child gets the breakthrough. We're going to put the air on because it is very hot today. Okay. I'm sweating so you don't have to look at me. Shifting all over the place. Woo! Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. This is what you call. This is what you call. This is what you call. Faith in Him when we dance. We speak. We sing and shout and we lift up our voices, our voices, our voices. And we release faith over everything we do. This is so key. Releasing faith over everything we do. do. Da 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 da. Using four sides of the room and all the body parts juxtaposed. So we have the dynamics of dance. Releasing your voice will release trauma from your bone marrow, from your joints, from your synapse, from your cartilage. Oh, yeah, muscles. All of it. See, we have suppressed, depressed, and oppressed our voices. Yeah, and it's locked up in our bodies. We need to let it out now. And so, it's interesting because the adversary, the enemy of our soul, wants to keep us silent because you're as sick as your secrets. The silence, the agony, the silent agony that we have within, that we haven't given a voice, it's become here. 
in our bodies. That's the problem. That's the problem. So we need to start bringing this before the Lord, our heart condition. But let's use that voice as a powerful ba -ba instrument of praise to use the trauma out. And let's get on a healing journey with God. Heal me, O Lord, and I will be healed. Save me, and I will be saved. It says in the book of Jeremiah, Yermigahu in the Tanakh. We get saved. Oh yeah, save me, O Lord, and I will be saved. But then our hearts are broken, crushed, and devastated. People in this fallen world. So we need to bring our hearts before the Lord and get me, Lord, on a healing path. Heal me, O Lord, and I will be healed. So my parents are celebrating a very big wedding anniversary today, okay? And so we're going to get ready to get on the conference call with the whole family. And so I bless you from the city of God. Keep singing and dancing, rejoicing. Lift up your spoken, beautiful voice. Chase the trauma out and get your breakthrough, friends.